Okay guys, I'm back. It's BDB SSB. Oh, it's been a little while. Um, I think the last video I did, I showed some uh, manipulation in XML, how to move stuff. Um, mainly how to move work areas. And I've, I've had some confusion because I know on the sprayer it fans out. Um, I guess to give you an idea quick, I can jump into the game just to kind of show you what I'm talking about. Um, and I've, I've had some people ask me about... Uh, work areas on cultivators and uh, some other things and I kinda went over it in a video but I'm gonna do something different on this one anyway sorry the game's taking a while for loading because it's been a while uh, but I just wanted to just show how you can do some other manipulations and I, I guess disclaimer right off the bat this is kind of a uh, this is not realistic at, at any means and in fact I used to do this for testing purposes but uh, now with the uh, console uh, mod there's really no reason to even I guess do this unless you're just wanting to kind of cheat get things done a little faster without the vis visibility of things because um, now you can basically go into the the console mod and just say hey I want this uh, field to be harvested or, or whatever um, grass I don't know if you can actually um, have a cut field of grass so I guess that'd be the only thing that's the person that's uh, been asking me on how to do this is actually trying to mess with the mower so if the game ever loads up here, like I said, I, I literally don't think I've loaded Farm Sim on this computer for about a month and a half, so apologize for the wait here. If I had time to edit things, I would edit it out, but uh, save us both some time, hopefully. Okay, so basically it is a rundown again. Let's just go to the fertilizing, um, and I might already have one on the, on the game. Uh, let's go to just buy it tractor quick and yeah I think I have so to give you an example why it's given some people a little bit of issues is the work area of this guy here is basically a fan shape um, and it's to, to give you the visualization of a fan shape not just a straight um, work area so let's first of all let's come into here um, I should have had this set up I apologize again it's again it's been long enough that I haven't really messed with so farmland so we're just gonna switch this to growth state one that way we can see a little better here I don't even know if it's gonna show up the fertilization let's get that off screen so we need to turn on the fertilizer and once again I'm not set up with that either. I need to fill the fertilizer. So when we start fertilizing, as you see, like I said, we're going out in a fan shape and it's not actually fertilizing because this field's not um, yeah, it says fertilization state zero, so I'm not sure why. So let's try this ground type cultivator. Let's see if that helps a little bit. There we go. See how we have the fan shape, and so that's where this work area all comes in. Basically, the computer is is using a triangle. It's not. A, you should be able to see that good enough on video. Um, it, it's like doing work, uh, doing fields. If any anyone has done any uh, map modding on a field, so let's uh, get back into Giants Editor here, so I can kind of show you quick. If I simply go. Into uh, yeah, been so long since I've done this. I'm even forgetting where all my junk is. So there's data, data, oops, vehicles, and that was the coon. And I'm trying to remember what it's even called. It's pretty bad. We can find it. Here we go. So if I open up this Giants Editor in Giants Editor. So basically, you got to kind of disregard the effects there because that does matter as well as I show that in. So effects. Let's just go ahead and uh, we'll make that invisible for now so it doesn't confuse us. I'm going to the work area. And so you have the start, and I, I'm pretty sure I went over this, but we'll, we'll do it again. Um, so basically, if we go create 
primitive cube and this is how I set things up for a visual I'm gonna go ahead and cut that I'm gonna paste it in and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna shrink this down this way so 0.01 and we're gonna shrink it down this way so 0.01 so now we just have this this stem sticking up and what that's saying is that's where the work area is going to start that's what it literally means and if I pull this up to give us a larger so that way we can actually see it sticking up into the sky a little bit it's literally where it's going to start now the width is how wide you want your work area to be so if we hit control C go to this hit control V now we zoom out a little bit that's literally how wide your work area is going to be um, it's, it's once again hard to see in the Cube. Oh, screwed up there. I want this to be a one still, and I want cube to be a ten. Sorry. Yeah, you don't want to change your um, control C, control V. Don't change your nodes. It will mess other things up. So now we we have a little larger. I'll go ahead and put a light in here. That didn't really help. So thought maybe the light would make these cubes stick out a little bit. In fact, maybe we can uh, tweak the color. make it like pink maybe we can see them a little better not really <laughs> anyway let's get back to what we're doing so you have your start that's where your work area is going to start you have your width that's how wide you want it to spread out but then what it does is it uses your height so if we take the same cube control C come into this transform control V the height is how far back it's going to work as well and that's working in conjunction with that width so once again it's starting that point there that's where it's going to start throwing the fertilizer on the work area not the visual that's in the effects remember but it's actually going to start your fertilization off that start area your width is how wide it's going to go so it's basically going from this point out and then your height is how far back it goes and basically you want your height it's, it's making that triangle so your height actually uh, matches up with your width on the other side um, you can see you have 12 here and you have a negative 12 there so that's making it 24 total uh, meter width uh, as far as the work now let's get out of this guy and not save this is where the confusion was coming in and I know I went through this a little bit but I'm trying to think of the of a calculator uh, yeah calculator um, cultivator and I believe I have one on my website so if we just go to uh, my OneDrive FS19 equipment um, this guy here and I just pull him extract to here and of course he's already so I don't even need I can do that in the data as well so it was the horse probably pronouncing that wrong um, 12XL I'll open him up so this guy here we're going to go into uh, work areas again and this one's a lot simpler because you have your start so once again we'll take and we'll create primitive cube and we'll make this one a little simpler to see let's just go point 1.1 1. 1. oops and we'll make this a 10 and once again we can actually go into that material let's just change it to, to pink so maybe it'll stick out a little better yeah a little control L give it a little light so make it magnify a little bit I'd probably turn it missive on so same thing with the control C go to start control V um actually control X to get rid of that I'll put it into width Control C, put one into height, control V. So as you can see, um, your start is setting where it's going to start. So it's at the front of this cultivator on the, on the first set of prong or tongs there, or fork, whatever you want to call it, cultivator. Um, your width is going to set your actual width. So your start and your width on a straight piece have the same Z translate, which is this way, front and back. Um, <clears throat> that's that's important as well because like I said if you don't if you have it set if you take this guy and you set it back say there 
you're going to have that triangular look again. It's going to go over in that angle. Um, control Z. And your height, if you look down here, basically it's going to the last part of the cultivator. So same thing with the height. If you want to make the effects go further back, as far as the work area, you would drag it back. That's where the, your cultivating would be done. Um, so once again, like I said, an overhead view, if I take this guy, I'll have a good way to take a screenshot. Um, and it's not doing ortho view, it's, it's got the goofy 3D view, but if I was to take this guy and actually, you know, if I snipped it new, grabbed him, control C, and I opened up paint to give a better idea, I could probably just use the, uh, a cube in the in the game as well, but if we uh, edit, no, I don't want to paste it to new image. So basically, if you look at those those points right there, your work area is literally going to be from here to there. So if you take this point and you move it out, then it's going to make your work area move back. And and that's like I said, I can't do it with a square, but you can make those triangles with that if you start manipulating those a little bit. So that hopefully that um, helps with the uh, confusion a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, all that being said, now I've already taken 10 minutes of your time kind of explaining the work area a little bit. I'm going to take this, this 301S and I'm going to uh, show a couple of different ways we can manipulate that work area because that's what I have someone someone asking. So what we'll do is right away we're going to make this working with 20 because um, that's what they're wanting to do. And what we'll do is we'll come on down to the foldable, and this is where they were, they got a little confused, and I wasn't I didn't open up and look at it myself very well, so I didn't do a good job of helping either. But what I did before in the video is I actually stole a section because it's easier to steal it from one of my other things rather than me trying to actually rewrite it because that's where you can start getting some errors in. So a lot of XML stuff is basically copying and pasting. I guess I shouldn't say steal, but in essence it is you're just copy and pasting what someone else has done so if I take um, I think it's a rapid, rapid windrow and we'll just pull him out here extract get rid of him so if you're gonna do it so basically as soon as you buy this item you want to change those nodes from your i3d file to manipulate with the XML you gotta have configuration to actually change it, change it immediately so we're actually gonna go fold and see how I have folding configurations here um, I think the other gentleman was just simply putting the uh, move or object change underneath the folding parts and that was causing some issues because it wasn't actually making a configuration and I missed it when he sent it to me so that's, that's my fault I apologize to them so basically what we want is we want folding configurations so we're just gonna go uh, we're gonna copy this right now in fact let's just do this foldable it'll be easier this way go back into the pottinger I'm gonna bump this down a couple and I'm just gonna paste it in so what we need to do is we need to add con folding configurations so control C so you've got the folding parts we're just gonna come into here folding configurations. We don't need a title for this because we're not giving options. Now we could do an option if you wanted. Um, then we need the actual folding configuration. So control C, add down. Um, we're not going to give it a name. We're not going to give it a working with. Um, we're not even going to give it a price because we're just literally adding a configuration so that it, it lets us do an object change. Um, the folding parts are fine, so what we have to do is we have to we have to close that off with a folding create uh, configuration here. Control C down here. So now you have basically you have fo you have folding configurations. We need to close it off next, but that's what I want to explain here. You have folding configuration um, that does not have the backslash. You have your folding parts, and then you have the folding configuration with the black backslash. So that closes this section off. But we also need that part, so basically you need the folding configurations down here to literally close off. So always remember that in XML, if you start having some issues, not, things aren't loading in game, you have foldable. If you go all the way to the bottom, you have foldable closed off. You have folding configurations, you go all the way through to the very bottom. You have folding configurations with it closed off. Folding configuration, 
and, and that's where it gets tricky too when you have several configuration parts inside the configurations them don't have an s it's it's a little confusing but that's how it works like i said we're getting in a little more detail of xml here but it, it'll kind of help you guys out in the future is as you can see on the the pickup system i have for the windrower on the loading wagon that's what i had you have the folding configurations and it's actually going to say hey this is the pickup system type basically so you have a windrower and you have a no windrower that's how that that wagon works it either has the windrowers to to fold out and make a, a wider pickup area or it doesn't so that's where you get into the the separate configuration itself. I don't want to say configurations because that'll get confused with this extra section. But that's what I was talking about. You have a configuration. It's called a wind rower. It gives the width, price, all the parts and, and object change you want to do, and then you close that configuration off. And then you get into your next configuration, a no wind rower. Do all your object changes you're working with, your price, and you close it off. Then the whole group is closed off as in configurations, and once again, all the foldable stuffs is inside the foldable. So hopefully that wasn't too confusing. I just wanted to kind of explain what was going on with this actual configuration. What these are is these are actually shop options because I just want to move these parts. I don't want to get confused and, and start throwing in the, the whole different configurations on this this uh, item that we're messing with. I just added a folding configuration so that we could do an object change. So basically that's and that's what I want to do is I want to take and we'll just cheat so we have once again the text and the object changes go um, after the folding parts so I want to come into here so it's after the folding parts and inside the folding configuration so we're gonna go ahead and paste that in like so now we're gonna delete this we don't need it anymore have everything we need so you want to go to your work area You're going to want to make sure you grab your start, your width, and your height because we showed how that stuff manipulates. So I'm actually going to copy this line so I'm not jumping back and forth. Um, go back to foldable or just fold. So now we're down to foldable. And I'm going to just paste this line in here so I can use it as a reference. So we're going to go area start, control C, control V. I'm going to grab this line, make another line another line in fact we're going to do two more because I'm going to show you something else because we need to we need to actually move the AI as well so now we have all that stuff we're actually going to see if we can find uh, AI I don't know if it's gonna it's probably gonna give me some issues oh, so work areas so there is uh, Should be an AI section, AI, and let's just go match, hold only, find next. There it is. So AI that tells you your AR marker left, your AR marker right. We're not going to move the back because that's going to stay the same anyway. So um, we can actually grab AI size marker left, AI size. So we're going to grab all these actually. Let's see, we're going to go foldable. All right, so we're going to come into here. I'm going to paste those so I have the names. And once again, so we need one, two, three, four more lines. So let's just go one, two, three, four. Control C, Enter, Control V. So we want to grab marker left, Control V, marker right, Control V, size marker left. Control V, size marker right, Control V, and we're going to start width and height. I don't know why. Uh, uh, area start, I'm going to grab this line again because I screwed it up. Tell it's been a while. So I need to start, I need area width, control V, and I need area height, control C, control V, and there's an AR marker, error, error, so I don't know why I did these extra lines, but we'll go ahead and get rid of those, apologize for that. 
So now that we have all that good stuff, let's get rid of this other stuff we don't need. I just copied so I didn't have to keep scrolling around and find the names. Okay. Hope I didn't delete some stuff I need. <laughs> so once again, if you need some help on what the old sections are, just open up that original file. Um, so, for example, if I drop down, if I go, if I go to the data, data, vehicles, I want the Pottinger, we want the 301, 301, open him up. Cause this is a good idea to know where it was to begin with so it's not getting all jacked up um, when you actually move it so I think it's under moving parts main arm uh, mower arm mower work area so the start we can literally go in here and click on that hit shift control C will it'll copy all three of those and when we come over here we can go to the start and we can actually hit control V and that's going to give you your original areas now it does add I don't quite know why but it adds in some extra numbers I don't know if it is yes <laughs> it you usually only want to want only want two anyway so I don't know why it's adding extra numbers but anyway um, we're gonna keep the seven five because that is literally the Z which is the back the back part of the start we don't want to change that anyway all we want to change is that X to get the extra width. So, as you remember, if we talked before, it's a negative already. So, if we want to go with a 20 meter working width, then it would simply be 10 because it's going to be 10 from the zero point. Um, and then 10 to the other side on the width is going to give us our 20. So, we'll simply come into here and make it a positive 10. I'm sorry, I didn't say negative, but it'd be negative 10, positive 10. Um, and then the width is actually going to be the same Z because that's only you're basically going on the width you're coming straight across to get that width so you don't want to change it back it's going to make it at an angle so your Z is going to be the same as what this Z was so we can simply copy that number there um, 0 0.75 and I guess to make it even less confusing we could come into here take these old numbers out so we don't get all messed up like so so the height now the height remember that goes to the opposite of the start make sure I'm not full here but your height or I'm sorry your height is back from your start so um and I already moved so if we copy this control C and if you get confused put those cubes in there like I was talking about so your start and your height is actually the same on the X value it's just changing your z value so that you actually get some depth if you actually watch this node there's your start and your height so it's basically saying start wise it's going to start mowing here and then it's going to stop on the back side here so we just need to make a translate of a z of 0.1 basically which isn't much so we can literally take these numbers here because they're all going to be the same except for the last one control v we're going to make this a 0.1 like so. Now the AI marker left. Go into your AIs here. So your marker, you can do the same thing, marker left. It's it looks like it's identical. It's 0 0.155 and 0 0.75. So on your left, you would literally match that width because it's the positive number, control C, control V. And then on your right, you would literally take this guy, because it's the opposite. Control V, and in the size marker, marker left, marker right, that I think we can actually leave go because what that's doing is it's actually telling the game that this collision is only that wide. So I'm going to leave that one alone. I've never really messed with the actual size marker, so I guess let's get rid of that line, like so. So now basically we have manipulated once we buy this um, machine because I only have one single configuration it's not going to give you the option in the shop it's just going to buy it as that is and it's going to automatically change these objects to move these nodes to where we want them so instead of being the point a negative 
1.55 it's going to be a negative 10 and the width is going to be a positive 10 and your height is going to be the same depth but it's going to be the width as well so now we save this guy get out of here we're going to go in the game and I also um, get rid of him minimum test something else I, I did right off the bat so I did put uh, working with a 20 and that, all that is is a label it's not doing anything in the game it's just giving a label um, but it is good to know when you're buying it that it's actually going to have that working with so let's select all I'm going to go ahead and save this now we'll see if I deleted any extra XML I wasn't supposed to it's always nice about my streams is like I said I don't have the time and I apologize because it takes your guys time up when I make mistakes I have to go back and fix them but then you can see hey you know this is how you fix those mistakes so let's just make sure we do have the mower it looks like we're still good but when you click on it as you can see it's saying 20 meter which don't get excited yet because once again that's only the description as you can see there's no configurations in here all you have is your main color and design color if you want to change it so that we didn't actually add a label in here saying hey this guy's gonna be 20 meters so go ahead and get out of here let's buy a tractor quick which actually I'm grab this guy and that is actually something that I'm not sure I was working on so so depending on where you want to put this guy, let's go ahead and put him on the front. And what I could have done as well, and I'll do for the next little section of this video I'm going to show, um, I can really show you how those two or them, uh, them parts move out. So we're going to go ahead and turn this guy on. We're going to lower him. Now here's the here's the issue you got to remember is because we added the width of this it's, it's going to put a huge windrow right there behind what would normally just be the mower so now whether that caused some issues with a specific mower or not I can't you know guarantee anything but as you can see we now have uh, 20 meters you know I don't have any way to actually mark it on there but we have a 20 meter mower um, that's what's going on there it's pretty cool because like I said it's actually windrowing into the middle as well uh, realistic no but hey <laughs> it is what it is um, so what I'll show next, I'll uh, I'll just do it in the same video. We're we're about 27 minutes in. I'm gonna actually show how you can make it foldable to move in and out. Um, what I'll probably have to do is to not make it look funny. Um, deactivate some of the other other folding parts, which yeah, we won't get into that. I'll just you'll have to deal with the graphics for now, I guess. But let's jump out of here. Um, let's close him out. Make sure you can see my monitor. Now there's some folding attributes. Control F. That we have to look at. So folding max limit, min limit, I believe if we change that, like it doesn't let it work if these are in there, I believe. So we're going to hit Control Q. Um, I'm going to save this again and open it back up just to test this. So I'm pretty sure on the typical mower it won't let you start it with it folded. And I want to I want to show something kind of cool here doing it this route. So that's why I'm going to disable that if we can. So what I'll do is I'll buy an actual mower, an in-game mower, and try to start it not being folded. And we'll buy that other one. Start him up. I need F11. Go to vehicles. Let's delete all vehicles. And I'm gonna go ahead and come in here and let's save the game. So we're all set up. Now let's buy a large tractor. Got two of them. Let's buy a mower. Let's go ahead and get the in-game one. And what we'll do is we'll grab a mod and we'll just change this to like orange and say pink just so we can see the difference. Hopefully we'll know it's the modded one. So what we'll do first is we'll grab the in-game mower. I'm pretty sure when I try to mow it's going to say you need to unfold first. So 
That's why I wanted to check. Now let's see if we grab this guy. Like so. Yeah, it's still saying you don't unfold. So let's go back to here. Foldable. Turn on. Oh, there it is there. So actually I can go ahead and control Q to on. Do that. Foldable. So if I get rid of this section here, like so. Hit save. Come in here and hit F11. I'm going to uh, reload vehicle. Okay. So what that did is it reloaded XML for me. So now, even with it folded, it's letting it start it up, and that's what I want to do because I just I want to I don't want to have to mess with changing the folding stuff. So it is actually. I don't know if it's going to mow though, that's the other issue I guess we'll have to, I think I have to actually get rid of the working area. So, do the same thing, um, work area, folding end, control Q, save that guy, into here, and once again we're going to reload the vehicle. Okay, yeah, so now it's letting me mow. Okay, that's what I want to make sure of. And we still have the wide working with, which no big deal. We're going to change that. So I think I can do this without shutting the game down, save a little bit of time. Of course, it'll work the processor, so let's shut her down. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to move those in the folding area. So what I'm going to simply do is I'm going to grab this stuff here, control X, and we're going to go to animation like so and there is the folding so what we're going to do is we're actually going to move this down <coughs> control V and we're actually going to grab this here okay. control V move it down and we're actually going to say uh, folding work areas so it's named just so we know so we're going to go area start control C control V um, we're going to keep that where it is we're going to delete this section we're going to delete this section and then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go translation active we're going to grab that so the in translation we're going to add him here and we need the original, which is the numbers here, which so that is the start, which I've changed all that, so let's just reload that guy. Come on. Visual moving part, main arm, mower arm, mower, work areas. <clears throat> so yeah, it was this guy here, so I'm just going to copy him. So the start transition is actually going to be the originals. Control C, Control V, and this is point one, negative 1.55. So we've got our area start. We're going to do our area width. Keep those the same. And this, I simply just have to make that a positive, that a positive, and then because it's going to say an attribute, control V, we want to do height, control C, control V, and that's the positive as well, the height, or I'm sorry, the negative, so we're going to leave that a negative and add a negative, so then we're going to be the same, and then we're going to do the AR markers, so we're going to go ahead and uh, we want the positive, C and I have, I have an issue there, I see right off the bat. Marker left, marker right are both positive, so I had that messed up in the original, we'll fix that. So the AI marker is a positive, the right is a negative. Okay, we'll fix that. 
So we're just going to go control C, B, and we're going to go marker left, marker right. And what did I say? The right is the negative. So the right is the negative, the left is the positive. So what that's going to do now is it's when this animation of folding happens, it's going to move those start areas and the work areas and everything out. For this, it's going to move the work areas, and then so I'll show you. It, it probably, it's probably going, what what are you doing here? But I'm just going to show you. This is a different way of doing things, I guess. It's kind of cool because what you can do is you can have it mow a smaller area, or you can go to this wider area. So I think that's all we need to do if I'm thinking correctly. So let's go ahead and bring the game open. As long as this didn't, there was something from FS 17 to 19 that they had changed, and I don't know if this is one of them that won't let me do this, so we're going to find out together. Okay. Save. So let's grab this large tractor, go to the mowers, grab him, grab this mower, make sure it turns on without being full unfolded. So don't have access to that, we don't care. Okay. So now what's going to happen is we're going to be at the original state here. It's just going to mow as wide as the original mower is supposed to be. Well, maybe not. What did we mess up here when I fold it? Okay, so I have it backwards. Okay, so it's a simple, simple fix. So I'll come up here. So we're going to take and we're going to... Uh, simply switch these around. We're going to take and we're going to call this, let's do this, make it simpler. Tab, 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 oops, back, tab. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to click here and if you hit shift, control, alt, and you drag over a section like so, you can type in there and it's going to change all of them. So we're going to actually go end, oops, end, and then we're going to delete I'm going to get these lined up, but it doesn't work too good. Same thing, Shift, Control, Alt. We're going to go over here. We're going to hit Start Trans. So when we hit Save, and you can flip them around so it makes more sense, but it, it doesn't really matter as long as they're in there. Um, now when we go into the game, F11, and we reload. Once again, this I'm using F11. That's the, the console controls by... Uh, GTX that you can find right on uh, Giants Mod Hub. Okay, so now when we start the mower, this is saying it's unfolded. And as you can see, we're mowing the whole width like I was before. It's 20 meters wide. Now when I fold it, bam, it goes down to the regular width. So it's just kind of an idea to show you. Like I said, you can actually physically see it move in and out. Hopefully it's showing good enough on the, on the screen there. Um, we're literally mowing the grass get the regular width like so and when I unfold the mower we're going out to the the wider width and so you can actually change those descriptions as well which we're not going to really get into the video I I have those attributes in my uh, actual windrower but that's just showing how you can literally move those attributes or nodes or whatever you want to call them with the folding and the animation just have to remember like I said it's actually an animation where you're going to move it that way it's not an object change, you're actually moving those with animation. When you go to the fold or folding, it's basically saying, hey, you know, when we're when we're folded up, which means fold, we want to end up back at the original. When we unfold, we're gonna go out to the width. Um, like I said, we could mess with all this stuff to make it, you know, these always be down or you know, add a second fold, or we could actually even do a, a move function which actually uses like the loader controls on your joystick. And I'm not going to get into that because that would be another whole video as well. So hopefully this was an informative. Um, like I said, we went a little long. I just want to show a little more in depth on how that could be done. Like I said, you, 
the it's a little confusing because like I said the other the other route was you had to add that configuration like I said always feel free just look through some of my other mods or say you know get on my discord and it's I, I tell everyone this on YouTube all the time but if you simply google my name BDBSSB in Google it's gonna pop up something like this if you go to the Wix and I'll have my link for my web page as well it's nothing special but it uh... yeah I don't care about that get rid of this maybe um... jeez okay get rid of that too so sorry about that it's nothing special but it gets the job done it's my website and like I said when you're on my website you can simply hit the contact and then here's you know my twitch link if I'm very rarely on there now but obviously you're on my YouTube so you're not gonna need that but if you click on that discord it's gonna give you the invite to join my discord preferably if you're on your mobile already and have discord it'll just let you go right into my discord and simply go to my site or go to my discord guys and, and ask you know hey I'm having this trouble or I'm having that or can you help me with this someone on there we've got shy wizard helping us out as well I throw his name out there he's a great youtuber um, but he's on there to helping. Um, there's several people on my Discord that do an excellent job. There's Wimps Cup and if I pronounce his name wrong, but several people on that uh, Discord channel that help out. So if you say, hey, I'm trying to do this, do you have a specific mod that has something in XML? Just shoot that on my Discord or even direct message me, and more than likely I'm going to remember, hey, if you're trying to do this, like say you want chrome wheels, I know I have a mod that does chrome wheels, or say you want to do color on your. Uh, on your decals I know I have a specific mod that does that so just shoot me a message in discord and, and you know someone will help you just about 24 7 I can't be on there 24 7 but there's usually someone on there within an hour or two at the most uh, we have people in England and uh, one point in the Netherlands so there's people around the world on that discord channel guys so uh, as a note we've already went 40 minutes I apologize for going so long but hopefully this was a was helpful um, if not, yell at me on my Discord. <laughs> Leave me some uh, comments on YouTube. Uh, like it if you like it. Um, that's all I have for now. Uh, hopefully it won't be as long to the next video, but we'll catch you guys later.